Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Today is Friday, guys. Last day of the working week for those that are working, unless you work Saturday. I'm just, you know what, I'm going to take a little, just, I mean, it does look familiar, like thinking, oh, you're walking the same streets every day. Well, guys, I just finished up breakfast and I'm just out taking a little stroll around. I have to watch how far I walk because my calves have been really, really hurting here lately. Last week when I was out for a walk, I uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I was walking and man, my calves just started burning. Both of them. And uh, it got so bad that uh, I was ready to call the trike. Just had the trike take me to my car. I mean, they were they were bad. They were bad. Uh, so I'm kind of watching how far I walk and where I walk. We'll just just walk down here. We'll walk over towards Norma's. Check the rate for Norma's. Dave's kebab here on the corner. He's been renovating for a while now. Hopefully he'll open up soon. I want to try it out. He's the one that has the uh, shawarma place. DK shawarma. It's another good place. Good food. Shawarma. It's good shawarma. Well, hey guys, you know... Uh, you guys made all them great comments about Rita. Um, some of you have asked, how can we help Rita? How can we help Rita? Does she have a Facebook account? Does she have a PayPal account? Guys, you know what? She more than likely, and if I was a betting person, I would win. She don't, she don't have access to the internet. And... Uh, <clears throat> and social media Good morning she don't have facebook she don't have tiktok she don't she don't have any of that guys she don't even have a phone i can guarantee you <clears throat> if she did it'd be pawned uh to get her daily needs for whatever she would need you know people how can we help her how can we help her you know, guys, I am not allowed. <clears throat> I am not allowed to. Where do I want to go here? We'll go to the left. I am not allowed to ask for people to donate uh, money to help out. It is against the law here in the Philippines. It would be considered asking for a charitable cause just not allowed just not allowed those that do it uh i guess they have a a, a license as a charity good morning and uh <laughs> hey boss oh okay all right <laughs> uh and then there's some that just, they just ask their subscribers, hey, you know, hey, send me money to help this person or, you know, to each their own. And you know what the sad part is? You know, you want to ask, you know, to help people out and um, it would go for a good cause, but you're not allowed, guys. Now, <clears throat> that being said, I have had people send me via my PayPal account Hey, can you use this to help these people or these people? And I have done that. Um, I never asked. I never asked. People just do it out of the kindness of their heart. Um, but yeah, guys, they're not on social media. Anna, Rita, everybody else you see that uh, is struggling and on the streets. They don't have it so 
And I know people said they'd like to help, but hey, that's just the way it goes. <clears throat> black cat up here what pretty eyes all right right to the left here is Norma's let's see what the Norma Norma's rate I want to jump for that hole Norma last time I checked it was 50 50 it is 50, 30. So it went down 0 0.20 pesos. It was stuck at 50, 50 for a while there. Like it was stuck. It wasn't going anywhere. For a week or so it was stuck. Amigo street food kind of looks new. Looks like they got like a taco thing going on up there. What we'll do is we'll go up here, go to the left, and then uh, kind of walk down fields. And we'll check the other, the other rate while we're down there. Magic touch, massage, and spa. We'll go to the left here. And I know some of you said, oh, you should start interviewing more people. It's, hey, when I have a chance to, I will, right? When I have the chance. Because it is interesting to hear people's stories and their life. And sometimes their struggle. quiet street right here because it dead ends dead ends for traffic you can walk but it does dead end for traffic now why would they have a speed bump back here right <laughs> morning With a whiff of something uh, rather stinky. <laughs> Guys, I wish there was a, I wish you could smell some of that. There's another black cat. Must be black cat day. I wish you guys could smell the, uh, the aromas in the air. Morning. <laughs> here is here is oh yeah yeah I know where I'm at thank you what's your name Rima Rima yeah. nice to meet you Rima <laughs> she's directing me in the right the right path here oh up and over this way right okay thank you this is the old train tracks here the old area where the old freelance park used to be I'm just going to walk down this way. Got the concrete pillars there. You can still walk down here. Ah, now I can smell somebody cooking. Now that smells good. In a fire, I smell somebody burning something. Some leaves. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, uh, just looking. <laughs> All right, let's walk down through here. Like I said, this is the old train tracks. 
you can go down in Hansonville. Matter of fact, I think I'll just drive down there and show you the other part of the train tracks. Uh, but this is where the old train track used to run through. And you know what? It, it's a shame because like two years ago, this was all cleaned up through here. You had vendors set up through here selling stuff. And then when... Uh, let me shoot through here. And then when everything closed down, they even had... <laughs> Hello again! <laughs> they, uh, they had like a little carnival thing going on in here. And uh, now there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Just completely overgrown. Who knows what they'll do with this. I guess the train's coming through here eventually, right? We'll shoot through here. This comes through into the back area here. <clears throat> back into this little market here. <clears throat> Ain't that on the street here? <clears throat> Somebody asked me about the Tiger Hotel. Uh, is it open? Is it closed? Unless they are doing like a quarantine and they're, they're doing a quarantine type hotel, they're closed. Like I said, they could be doing a quarantine because some of them are doing the quarantine hotel thing here. Morning. Morning. They're all stuck at 50, 50. That one's 50, 20. Fifty, thirty. All right, guys. We just came from here. We just came from that way. Kind of do a little walk around. Uh, Where are we at here? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to go down to Hensonville there, and I'll show you where the train, where the train track comes out of Hensonville, the old train tracks and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> we'll head there. I'll show you guys. All right, guys. I am standing here, right here, Malibanias. I love. Molly Banyas. And you can see there's guys working in here. They're drilling. They're taking core samples. I was in there and I was speaking to them. They're taking core samples in there uh, because that's where the train is going to be running through. I've walked in there and I've walked down through there and I asked the guys, I said, what about the homes that are in there right now in the way of the, you know, the, the trail and the path of the train? He told me, he said, the government is buying them out. The government will push them out. The property line has to be extended and pushed back, what do you tell me, like two meters on each side. Those houses, any building in the way, they're not going to run a train around them. They're just going to buy them out. Um, this is a train system that's coming from Manila. That's coming all the way up to New Clark City. Part of it is, from, from what the gentleman was telling me in there, part of it is already completed. Uh, they've already started the track system from New Clark City down this way and from Manila up this way. Told me two to three years, that's how long this project is gonna take. 
he told me there's outside investors involved in this um, so yeah it is coming through here guys and from what he was telling me it's just gonna follow the old train track that used to run through here if uh, you can remember those that were here the old train I've only seen photos I've only seen photos of the old train tracks that used to come through uh, but it will follow the same path according to the gentlemen that are working this work site right here right now um, so there there's progress guys um, government will come through the government will tell you and they will give you a price what is their price to buy you out who knows but you know it's sad because you have had homes here that have been here for a long time families have lived here um, they've established their life here and uh, now they're being told they got to get out of the way of the train so anyways there it is there it is I've, I have walked this trail here before back in there and it does lead up to like an old trail or an old train track bridge that's probably been a few years ago uh, but there are there are houses up in through there and I was talking to the one of the old gentlemen in here and he told me that there are parts of the train track that are still buried under the ground um, so I will keep an eye on this I will keep you updated and uh, with that being said remember guys it is okay to agree to disagree with that we'll talk to you later